So amphetamine and methamphetamine are powerful, you know, stimulants, psychostimulants, and they um, generate, you know, significant arousal and, you know, what they say, behavioral excitement. Uh, methamphetamine in particular is a powerful, highly addictive stimulant um, that affects the central nervous system. Crystal meth or crystal methamphetamine is a form of the drug. Uh, it looks like glass fragments or shiny bluish white, you know, little rocks, and it's chemically similar to amphetamine. Um, which is a drug that is often used to treat um, ADHD um, and narcolepsy, which is a sleep disorder. Um, methamphetamine and amphetamine um, have a number of distinct sort of uh, drug actions. Um, they, they tend to uh, operate on uh, monoaminergic synapses, so dopamine, serotonin, and norepinephrine. And uh, it, with regards to dopamine, which is a lot of their you know, significantly reinforcing, motivating um, you know, actions, they will block the dopamine transporter, so a little bit like cocaine. Uh, but in addition, they'll also reverse <laughs> the dopamine transporter, so it'll spew dopamine actually out of the presynaptic terminal into the cleft. Uh, they also act uh, on the vesicular transporter you know, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, that's, you know, nonspecific for all the monoamines. So they'll get in, uh, bind to that vesicular transporter or the vesicles and reverse them. So they'll actually get the dopamine and some of the other monoamines getting out, uh, basically of the vesicles. So drain the vesicles and then spew all that dopamine out into the cleft. Um, methamphetamine has a methyl group attached to the amphetamine. So it makes it a little more hydrophobic so it's more likely to cross membranes and get in and you know contribute to, uh, to these drug actions um, by becoming more you know rapidly bioavailable in the brain uh, but these are very powerful and very addictive